shows you how to put your buckles back on your overalls when you get them out of the dryer. Just stay with me. All right. My friends, when you get your overalls out of the dryer and you come out and you got this in your hand and you got the little buckle slider piece in your other hand with that uh-oh look on your face like, uh-oh, how am I going to do this? This little short video is going to show you how simple this is. But I understand. When I get my overalls out and both of these buckles is off, I get that uh-oh look on my face too. But you start out with, first you make sure your straps turn where it ain't twisted. When you get it on there, it won't be upside down. And you slide this part back just a little ways. Oh. Fold it under. Hold on to it just like that. This piece with this little slider buckle in the middle. All you do is take this clip in, I call it, that clips on your button on your overalls. You stick it under that slider piece. And then you come back over. Let me get this on the camera for y'all. Slide that down a little bit. Then you, then you go back over. And pull that buckle all the way through. That's all it is to it. Then you adjust it by just sliding that up and down. Running the top one down. And pulling the underside through. But I know I have the same issues. And I know there's people out there that's going to love this little video. It's going to help quite a few people. Thank you for watching. God bless. Well, let's go ahead and check on my seeding seedlings I started. I think I started these on the 16th, 17th. Today is the 26th. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Everything's looking. Yeah, them cabbages is coming on strong. Boy. Them first two rows, I got a little thing chart up here where I can keep up with what I got going on. The first row right there is Brussels sprouts. I'm trying to think what... what What's the other? Oh, green, green gems is the first row. The second row is cauliflower, called Amazing Cauliflower. The third row is cabbage. Carry, cararinda, carry, cararinda. Katarina, 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 that's it, Katarina, cabbage. The third row and the two on the next row. And then I have some Black Beauty eggplants on one row and some habanero peppers and some two different types of bell peppers, a confetti and a, I can't remember what the other one's called. It's supposed to be a sweet pepper. And I have some Fuya jalapeno peppers. They say they ain't hot. But I'm just wondering if that's Fuya because you might bite into one and it not be hot thinking and then it'd be a hot one. So who knows? Then them on the back of the back there is tomatoes. I have some Arkansas Travers. I have some Cherokee. I have a some black pearl, 
I have some Honey Delight, which would be a yellow tomato. I have some brandy wine. Got a couple of green zebras. Both look like a watermelon stripe. And I got some Italian ice. That's a white tomato. Some early girls and some dials. They coming on good too. Then down here in this little plant, most of these is prism kale. One of them raised beds I'm gonna do in kale. And then I got some uh, basil started from a herb garden. And then over here, which I need to get these out of here and sit them in something else, that is the tree of life. A lady gave me some seeds to try. And that tree of life, what is it? I wrote that down here somewhere. Moringa? I think it's called a moringa tree. It's supposed to be the tree of life that you can eat the leaves. You can eat the bark. Y'all have to look that up and read about that. It's supposed to have more vitamin C than oranges. What, more potassium than bananas? More vitamin, is it vitamin A that's in apple? Anyway, it's supposed to be what they call a tree of life. It's supposed to be good for between it and apple cider vinegar and uh, elderberry tinctures. A man ought to live to be 150 years old. Well, y'all read about it when you start Googling on the internet. 